Tom Young, give me some little gel bone. Hey folks, today we're looking at Barnyard Commandos, a really cool line from Playmates Toys. I don't really know the backstory about these guys. Uh, apparently, they were just farm animals that started evolving. Uh, maybe they were mutated, but I guess the the farmers just started noticing the animals, you know, working the farming equipment and digging trenches, and a whole war just broke out. Now, uh, the way the toys went, uh, they were uh, divided into factions, uh, like this guy right here, he's part of the RAMS, uh, and it's like an acronym, you know, RAMS, uh, and these guys are, uh, these three guys right here are uh, part of the PORKS faction. Uh, but right, let's get a closer look at these guys. This guy right here is Sergeant Wooly Pullover. I'm guessing he's the leader of the Rams. He is my favorite. I mean, he's got this really awesome red bandana. I mean, come on, he's basically Rambo. He's a little sheep that's Rambo. Uh, there's his uh, sergeant insignia, I'm guessing. And uh, he's got a he's got a really great sculpt. Uh, you can definitely tell he's you know he's got a wool coat and he's got a little tail. Uh, He's got such an intense expression on his face. I just love his poofy little hair too. <laughs> and uh, he's got these uh, green sleeves, you know, uh, he looks like a soldier. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Barnyard Commandos, they're, they're made out of uh, soft rubber, kind of like a dog toy, you know. Kind of got that... Uh, food fighter feel to them, but uh, he's really cool. He comes with a bazooka, and uh, this thing's really cool. It's got a little pack. I bought this thing uh, loose complete, and I'm really happy this little antenna thing didn't you know, break off. This thing is just crazy. It's got some really cool detail in. And, uh, it's pretty easy to get on him. It's got a little hole. A little pig hole. And you just just put it in there, the pig, and just, uh, do my best to, to get it in. He looks amazing with it. I mean, he, that's just, that's action packed right there. It's hard to get him to stand front, but he stands pretty well like that. I think it's because the thing I have him on is kind of on an angle. How cool is that? He's a little sheep with a bazooka. Looks like Rambo. This is why he's my favorite. That Sergeant Wooly Pullover. This guy also is a leader. He's General Hamfat Lardo. He's got his little, uh, you know, general insignia on his uh, his left leg, and he's he's really cool. Uh, He's, he's pretty small, actually. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's just a really big difference, in my opinion. Um, but he's got a really cool print on his back. I'm guessing he's... It's like a kind of a mocha color. He's got these little... This little half circle shapes on him. <laughs> yep, his little tail. But he might be little, but he's he looks pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't really know what his weapon is, to be honest with you. Um. I try to look online, but 
I couldn't figure it out. And he's got a, you know, little hole, just like the other one. A little peg. This guy's actually, it's hard to get in there, though. Maybe that's why they're uh, soft rubber, because you got to kind of squeeze them and to get their thing on. It's got some paint on it. It's got a little red dot on his nose and some. I guess what I'm trying to say that that's not intentional paint. I don't think that's uh, detail or anything. I bought these used, so you know how it goes. I'm just surprised, you know, none of this stuff's, you know, none of this stuff broke off. This thing actually rotates. It's like a little, maybe a little radar. This thing would go on its nose better. Just kind of rests like that. Come on. I guess it's just a little warped. I don't know what this is, though. Maybe you just... It doesn't really look like it shoots anything. It just... It's like it does reconnaissance or something. It's more of a lookout guy. He's a sergeant. It's got a little sticker right there for the porks. I like him. I'm happy to have him. Alright, well, that's General Ham Fat Lardo. Next up, we have Private Saito Bacon, who is also affiliated with the Porks. He's really awesome. He uh, he kind of reminds me of Bebop from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's got a he's got a nose ring and he's got some tusks. He's mostly uh, kind of a uh, I don't know, like an orange pink. It looks like he ran through some mud, but that might just be, uh, you know, his skin. I don't know. I would think it's mud. He is a pig. I mean, I'm guessing he's a pig. He does have tusks, though. I don't know. He could be a boar. Or a hog. Let's go with hog. He's also got the little, the little curly tail, you know. <laughs> Pink nose. He's got his rank insignia. He comes with a flamethrower. It's more like a laser to me. Just like the rest, you just put the peg to the peg hole. Kind of get it in there. That looks so cool. Kind of makes it look like he's wearing uh, shades with the uh, flamethrower on top. <laughs> Just all the lights hitting it. He's really cool. Kind of like him more than uh, General Ham Fat Lardo. Maybe because he's, he's got a badass weapon. Some private Sido Bacon. Finally, we have Captain Tusker Chitlins. And he's also got kind of a, like a mud kind of design on his uh, on his face. Uh, I really don't know if this is just their skin or, or if they did, you know, you know, they're, they're, you know, pigs, boars, and, you know, hogs. They're probably playing, you know, wallowing in the mud, but he's got some really cool tusks. Uh, he's got a pink nose. Can't really see his pupils up front, so I think he looks better on his side. Uh, he's also got a little curly tail. Uh, he's got his rank insignia, which I, I really like how they all have that. But uh, he's got uh, an anchor right here, so I, I actually put it together. I, I always thought his accessory was like uh, 
like a plane, but I'm looking at it, and it's, it's, a, it's a submarine. It's got a periscope, some propellers, and uh, this is his breathing apparatus. Um, it's like a light lavender color, and it's also got a pork sticker right there. But, alright, let's put this thing on. Uh, it's got a, same thing, you know, uh, peg hole, and you just put the peg in, I squeeze it. There you go. How cool is that? Uh, you know, all through this review, I was mostly, uh, as far as the porks are concerned, uh, private cider bacon. It's probably my favorite, but uh, after realizing that uh, Captain Tusker Chitlins is more of a more of a you know, underwater, you know, uh, Barnard Commando, I'm, I'm really digging him almost just as much, but. Uh, all right, that's you know that's barnyard commandos. Uh, did you guys have these when you uh, when you were kids? I didn't. Who do you think's more badass, barnyard commandos or food fighters? You know, I was wondering. Uh, you know, food fighters are pretty much you know they're. It's the same the same size, but I'm wondering if in real life if food fighters were about the size of these uh you know uh farm animals, who would win? Who would win this epic battle? I don't know, I honestly think that the the porks would just eat the the food fighters, but uh who knows, but uh alright well let me know what you guys think and uh thanks a lot. Yeah Galbon Give me some chow yum, give me some little jam rum, give me some